Problem 23. We need to solve this word problem. Mrs. Gargantua intends to mix the contents of a bowl containing 10% caramel sludge with the contents of a bowl containing 18% caramel sludge in hopes of creating a 5-pound brownie mix containing 12% caramel sludge. How many pounds of the bowl containing 10% sludge must she use? Okay, this is a mixture problem. We're trying to find the number of pounds of the 10% bowl. So that's X. Now, when doing a mixture problem, it's a good idea to draw a picture. So I'm going to go to another sheet and I'll put a picture up. Here are the basic facts of the problem. And then here's the picture. And I'm not really sure what uh, caramel sludge looks like, but I just did my best. This is supposed to be the sludge down here. And then I, I don't know what this green stuff is. But here's the important point for solving the problem is that there are X pounds in this whole thing here. And then 10% of it is caramel sludge. That's just this part down here. And then there are five minus X pounds of in this whole thing. And I'm going to explain how I got that in a second. And 18% of that is caramel sludge. And then this is the combined amount. This plus this equals this big thing. And the entire amount in here is five pounds and eight or 12 percent of it is caramel sludge right here. Now, let me go back to this five minus X. The problem tells us only that the total is five pounds. Well, if this is X pounds, this is what we're trying to find. And the total is five. And these two go together to make up the five. Then this has to be the rest of it or five minus X pounds. So that's where I got that. That expression is really important to setting up the equation. See it? This plus this equals 5, and this is x. This has to be 5 minus x. Okay, now we need to set up the problem, and here's the way we need to do it. We need to take the amount of caramel sludge in this one plus the amount of caramel sludge in this one equals the amount of caramel sludge in the combined one. Not the total amount of the mixture, but just the sludge part. See, there are x pounds in this big thing here, but then 10% of it is caramel sludge. And so the amount of caramel sludge in the first one is going to be 10% of X or 0.1 X. See, I wrote in the amount of sludge in the 10% plus the amount of sludge in the 18% equals the amount of sludge in the 12%, which is the combined thing. And then this is 0.1 X. Now we write an expression for this one. It's going to be 18% of however much is in the whole thing because 18% of this is sludge. And so we take 0.18 times the quantity 5 minus X. That's the number of pounds in the whole thing. And so taking 18% of that is going to give us the amount of sludge in that one. And then finally, we calculate the amount of sludge in this one. There are 5 pounds in the whole thing. 12% of it is sludge. And so we want 0.12 times 5. That's our equation. Now we need to solve it. And you can see that we have two x terms. One of them is trapped inside parentheses. So we're going to need to distribute to get that out. Now I'll go ahead and multiply the 0.12 and the 5 on the right in this step. 0.18 times 5 is 0.9, and then 0.18 times x is 0.18x. 0.12 times 5 is 0.6. So now we can combine these x terms. This is really a negative 0.18x. Let me change that. And so 0.1 plus negative 0.18 is negative 0.08. And so these combine to equal negative 0.08x. And now we just undo in reverse order. We need to subtract 0.9 from both sides. And that gives us just negative 0.08x on the left. And then 0.6 minus 0.9 is negative 0.3 on the right. And then the last undoing step is to divide both sides by negative 0.08, which gives us x equals 3.75. And that means that there are 3.75 pounds in the bowl containing the 10% sludge. So the answer to Problem 23 is 3.75 pounds.